people of Donbass. Nowadays, the people all over the world fix their eyes on Donbass. We are choosing our fate. Neither Obama, no Merkel, no Putin, Medvedev, Poroshenko or Nemtsov, familiar guest on every Maidan and might have been mayor of Sochi, will make that choice instead of us. Our fate stands on our decisions, on our readiness to fight and die for our future, our will to keep humanity in subhuman conditions. No fate but what we make. And now we are making the new history of the mankind. The geopolitical situation in the world will change forever if the Donbass win. And it is evident to everybody. That is why they are shelling us and shooting off howitzer weapon, firing with grenades and lying and lying and lying. What for the people of Donbass are dying? For salaries and pensions? No. Only the button-down mines can say such nonsense. Historically, Donbas was the main industrial region of huge Russian empire. It was his great mission. The Ukrainian ostentatious independence killed the Donbas potential. The misery mine villages, free fall of the economy that has been developing more or less in 1990s, 2000s, total stealing and bribery, all that left from the powerful economy. The economic potential was reduced to the production on the ferrous materials, chemical production and coal mining. Donbass need the trading areas. They should be Russian ones. Donbass need cheap Russian hydrocarbons. Donbass need honest administration and responsible businessmen. It needs the developed science and culture. It need a lot of things that Russia and other countries of the customs union have. Neither Ukraine nor Europe has them. Only in such a cave the industry of Donbass will come to life. The mechanical engineering and metal working industry, high tech and aircraft industry will start working again. Donbass will feed Russia, not the reverse. It's always been like this. But there is some alternative. Ukraine will join the European Union, and Kyiv bureaucrats continue to travel around Europe on their expensive cars. The Lvov money makers continue to resell the Polish vegetables, and the people of Donbass continue to pay for all that with their hard work. Do we want such a future for our children? Independent Ukraine is nothing else but nepotism and bribery. It is the rabid crowd of Nazi who liquidates all the opponents. Ukraine is a huge crowd of kinglets. They are all busy with changing the rules of political game but not with the real ruling. Ukraine is the country where the oligarchs rule. That is the main stay of anarchy and lawlessness. Ukraine is a world no bankrupt. We all know Poroshenko, Timoshenko, Yatsenyuk and others. Don't they out of the way with Ukraine. If Putin will stop the war, he would be able to help Ukraine. But the matter of case is not in Putin or the soldiers of Kadyrov. Development of the economy is life saving for Donbas. DPR is the opportunity to create all the conditions for normal evolution of economic and social life. Akhmetov, Taruta and the rest are in the past now. Putin de facto is the only one who can guarantee the peaceful development of Donbas in such conditions. And for this we should be also grateful to Kapitsa and other creators of nuclear weapon. Poroshenko will lead to destruction. European Union is the way to slavery. What way will we choose for our future generations? Will we negotiate? Of course we will. Every war finished with the negotiations. But it wouldn't be Putin who was negotiate with Poroshenko. The leaders of the DPR should do this. Obama and Merkel will be able to present at the negotiations if they have nothing else to do. We will talk about the military withdrawal. We stand for the civilized divorce. All the rest who were against will be wiped up. For Slavyansk, for Kramatorsk, Mariupol and Donetsk. The occupants should remember whoever will come to Donbas with a sword from a sword will perish. Only like this. Cynic, prosically, rude. The enemies will stay lying in our land with missile wounds in their heads or hearts. Who puts down the arms voluntarily will stay alive. They say about the Russian Federation? Putin? Yes, we are waiting for help from Putin. But we need only the mental support. We want Russia to help us to create the conditions of mutually beneficial cooperation in evolution of economic and social life on Donbas. We want Russia to help us to establish the order on our native land. We can hang on Russia because we are brothers. Moreover, we are the same nation. But we hang not on Putin. We hang on ordinary Russian. Because they are the people the Russian nation. And nowadays Donbas shows the power that that ordinary people have. We are the separated people of one great country. Glory to Donbass. Glory to our great motherland.